Hello, so today's question is how to study the Bible. Uh, well, there are three methods of Bible study. Those three methods are observation, interpretation, and application. Okay, so those are the three methods of Bible study. The first method of Bible study is observation. That means, what does the Bible say? The second method of Bible study is interpretation. That means, what does the passage mean? And the third method of Bible study is application. That means, how does the passage apply to me? Okay, so I'm just going to tell you the first method of Bible study and it's observation, okay? Uh, so observation, okay, that's the first method of Bible study. So, you know, first we have to read the Bible passage, right? Uh, then you have to write down your observations about the Bible passage. So here are some examples of observations you might have made about the Bible passage that you read. So the first uh, observation could be maybe you maybe you noticed that the Bible passage had repeated words or themes. Um, the second observation maybe you notice the tone of the passage. Uh, the third observation maybe you notice the author's mood okay so maybe the author seemed to be joyful maybe the author might have seemed to be angry mournful or afraid okay so that's the third uh, observation you might have made about the bible passage that you read was the mood of the author okay um i guess you should ask this question okay when you're reading a bible passage you need to ask yourself this question, okay? Are there any figures of speech that the author is using to convey a certain image or idea? So, yeah, those are the questions you have to ask yourself when reading a, pa a Bible passage, okay? Okay, again, those are the questions you have to ask yourself, okay? To read, when you're reading a Bible passage. Um, so make sure you write down those questions and, and the answers to those questions. Uh, those questions are your observations about the Bible passage that you read. So that's the first method of Bible study. It's observation, okay? The second method of Bible study is interpretation, okay? Um, interpretation meaning we have to understand what the Bible passage is saying. To understand a Bible passage, you have to read the passage multiple times. And... As you're reading the Bible passage, make sure you you ask questions and write down your commentary about the passage. Make sure uh, you read the, the passage carefully and you're underlining key words or phrases or repeated words or phrases. Um, you can also pray to God to help you understand the Bible passage, okay? So to understand a Bible passage, you can also do online research about the passage. You can simply Google search the Bible passages interpretation, okay? So that was the second method of a Bible study. It's interpretation, okay? Um, again, interpretation is understanding the Bible passage, okay? Um, the next method of Bible study is application, okay? So application, that's doing what the Bible says or doing what the passage that you read says. That's application. Um, so you have to ask yourself, how does the Bible passage apply to me? To apply the Bible, we must know the Bible passage. This means you need to listen to it, read it, and meditate on the scripture. Um, now you have to apply the scripture you read into your life. Okay, that's application. Um, we have to apply the scripture into our lives so that we can live God's way. Okay, so that's the reason why we have to apply the scripture that we read into our life so that we can live God's way. Okay? Reading our Bibles opens our eyes to what godly living looks like. Okay? So, yeah, the Holy Spirit will help us apply the Bible to our lives as he directs us. Um, as we read the Bible, the Holy Spirit will guide us to understand it 
and live out God's ways. Applying the Bible to your life means hiding God's word in your heart and obeying the Holy Spirit as Holy Spirit whispers God's ways and truth to us. Okay. So that was the last method of Bible study. It's application. Okay. So when we're reading a Bible passage, we have to do what the Bible passage says. Okay. So um, we have to apply that Bible passage to our lives. Okay. So that's the last method of Bible study. The, that's the last method of Bible study is application okay? um, when we apply scriptures into our lives it helps us to live godly okay? so that's the reason why we have to apply scriptures into our lives okay? um, so again those were the three methods of Bible study so the three methods of Bible study are observation interpretation application um, so yeah, those are the three methods of Bible study, okay? So, you know, when you're studying your Bible, you need to go to a room where you can be by yourself. Um, you know, make sure you take out a pen, paper, um, you know, and, you know, as you're reading, as you're reading the Bible passage, um, write down your commentary, okay, about the Bible passage that you read. Um, make sure you read, you will read the Bible passage, you know as you as you're studying the bible passage um yeah um so when you do all of that um that's going to help you interpret the bible verse okay like basically understand the bible verse that you read and then you know now that you understand the bible verse that you read um you can now apply it into your life okay so, you know, those are the methods of Bible study, okay? Um, that's the end of this, okay? So, I'll just end this right here with a prayer. So, Father God, please protect everybody that will see this. Bless us and our family members. Um, help us to repent of our sins and to turn to you, Father, oh God. Uh, yeah, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.